Hey guys, welcome. Today we're going to be painting this dresser. But first things first, let's get changed. Much better. <laughs> now we just need our equipment, which I think is right behind you guys. And I'll just get up and grab that. All right, so I'm gonna start with removing all the handles. And really minimal sanding. I don't really want to do this for a long time. I don't enjoy it. Uh, so with sanding, you want to go against the grain. That basically means where the lines are going. So the lines on this piece of furniture are going from left to right. So we're going to sand like this. If they're going up and down, you'd want to sand like this. All right, so now we're going to wipe down all the sanding we did with this towel. It's really important you have a clean surface to paint on. If you don't have a clean surface, the dust is going to make the paint clumpy and not smooth. Let's get to wiping. So satisfying. <laughs> I taped the drawers because I want to put some sort of contact paper on the inside and I don't want to put it on like three layers of paint. I'd rather put it on the actual piece of wood. I am gonna start priming. A few moments later. Finally, the moment we've been waiting for. Oh. <laughs> look. I don't know if I just want to see. Oh, wait, what was I gonna do? I learned this trick. Where's the tape? Where's the fucking tape? Okay, breathe. Oh, I know where the tape is. Because I'm sick of dribbling paint. Stick of it. Ooh, made myself a funnel. Yay! Wipe all this off. I'm just going to. Ooh. I never ever leave paint uncovered. I just don't want it to spill, and I'm working in a tight space, and I'd rather just cover it. I don't mind reopening it when I need to. My anxiety is just too high. I can't just be having open paint everywhere. Are you guys ready? Okay, let me see. Get a good angle for you. Well, that wasn't as satisfying as I thought it was going to be, actually. <laughs> I need more paint. <laughs> okay, let's try again. <laughs> yes! Ah, it's happening! It's really happening! So satisfying. One of the most satisfying things. you guys but I find that I don't think I like painting <laughs> I like picking out the color and I like opening the can but the actual process of painting I like for like five minutes and then I'm like oh, I'm done I don't want to do this anymore I'm tired but I want the end result so you know you gotta put in the work put in the work I think if you're a perfectionist, you should paint because <laughs> I can be a perfectionist at times and painting has really just taught me just get this shit over with. Let's just get it over with. Who cares if it's perfect? <laughs> no one's gonna see it. It's fine. It's gonna like also no one stares at your painting like that. I mean, I don't know anybody that goes over people's houses and is like, well, you missed this spot. Like who does that? <laughs> do people do that? If someone said that to me in my house, I'd be like, I did it on purpose. <laughs> Ta-da! 
Ta-da! This is the finished product. I'm really happy with the way it came out. I love the way the, the handles look against the green. I think painting is one of the easiest ways to change up your space, especially because I didn't want to buy new furniture. I just wanted to just use what I already had and change it up a bit. And I painting really, look at it, it's so different, right? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm so tired though and my back is killing me and I'm gonna go relax now. But I'll see you guys in my next adventure. Bye!